What's up, Watch World? Can't believe I got that Watch World name on my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Harrison. Uh, I'm doing my first YouTube video. Actually, this is probably now my fourth try at this. The old GoPro 7 Black is just giving me nothing but trouble. Anyway, I have nothing um, but trouble. I've been having nothing but trouble today. Gosh. Uh, you see the title of the video, Tudor Pelagos Problems. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, my bezel is jammed, completely jammed. I'm a scuba diver, in case you can't tell, by my collection of watches. I'm a Rolex fan. I'm a just good workmanship fan, to be honest. Um, if it doesn't have a mechanical soul, it doesn't touch you deeply, it doesn't tickle your fancy in terms of uh, just... Everything that a, a watch should do, um, I'm not interested. It's got to have everything. These I've been extremely selective with my collection thus far. It started um, with a couple other pieces that I don't want to get into right now. Let me know in the comments section. Keep the comments clean. Keep them healthy and uh, stimulate some, some conversation, guys and ladies, if you'd like to know what I think about watches for ladies. Um, you see a lot of money on the table. This is going to be a low production value for most YouTube videos um, that I've used to watch. Uh, there's some great ones out there. You got, uh, uh, so, you know, some that I really uh, am envious of their success. They're uh, they've gone viral, but you know, uh, I've I've been sitting back and reaping the rewards of um, <clears throat> their mistakes or sort of learning from their wisdom. Uh, learning from their mistakes and the wisdom they uh, have acquired uh, through um, the dealership, uh, the system, really. And the watch uh, world is right now on fire, as you can see. Um, I wouldn't have spent this much money if I didn't think I'd get a return on my investment. And I also wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have done this had I not had a need and a uh, connection to th these watches. Um, looking at them ticking away, I just, I could watch them look at them it's just the way it's just if you got the bug you don't got it if you don't got if you got the bug you know what i'm talking about if you don't you know you should go out and buy yourself rolex state just or rolex submariner if you could find one for two thousand dollars under retail or over retail god bless you. you won't go wrong and you won't lose money at all in fact uh, my gmt master 2 is purchased for eight thousand fifty and is now trading used for um, about eleven to four to thirteen hundred dollars, depending on where you look. I don't know how many have actually changed hands at that price, but it's been discontinued, and uh, was really just luck of the draw for me to pick it over the uh, um, the uh, the Rolex uh, with the blue under uh, with the with the half blue bezel. I don't like calling it. Uh, you know what? I think that's a stupid name uh, for something that is uh, so elegant. And uh, anyway, um, I think uh, Rolex is long overdue for some color. But let's go to Rolex's sister company, the Lonely Tudor. And uh, let's discuss that. My Pelagos has been giving me trouble. It keeps me up at night. I bought this watch on the gray market. Uh, I passed up a, a brand new one in the shop that actually the bezel seemed to be malfunctioning whenever I handled it at the store. Dealer wouldn't give me a price down on it, so I, so I passed. Ordered a new one. I said, if this bezel's jacked up, I'm not buying it. He was okay with it. The bezel was fine. And honestly, five minutes ago, the bezel was fine. It just needs to dry out. For some reason, when this bezel gets wet, it will not work. And I'll prove it to you guys. Here's what a bezel should do on a Tudor. Make that nice click. You know, just, just go for it. This is the... Tudor Black Bay with the red bezel. Um, I paid for the extra money. I paid the extra money to have this riveted bracelet put on. Just beautiful. It has the uh, old lollipop uh, uh, dial there and also has a nice pearl at the top. It's aluminum insert. If you look carefully, I centered it, but it's just not perfect to center. I don't know why. I guess that's just Tudor. Um, I know it's a hard thing to get perfect, but... Uh, if you're paying this much coin for a watch, you should expect the best. 
There's five minutes into the video, guys. Let's touch the Pelagos, the subject of this uh, video. Notice I haven't mentioned the 50th anniversary Sea Dweller. It's just Mark I, by the way, Mark I dial. It's just perfect in every way. And I'm glad I sold my uh, Submariner for it. Um, I didn't lose money on that transaction either. Here we go, guys. Satin brushed titanium. If you want to watch a really interesting documentary that mentions the um, properties of titanium, watch any of the SR-71 Blackbird um, videos online if you're an aviation geek like I am, sort of. Um, definitely into that. Most of it comes from Russia. Apparently, the CIA had to order a bunch of titanium through the CIA parent company in Russia. It's jammed, guys. I mean, it, it is completely jammed. I'm not faking it. It uh, Just because of the water, let me blow on it real quick. Yep. Nope. Still busted. Still locked completely. And you know what? The funny part is, in a oh, three, four hours, it'll be completely back to normal. I don't know why. Tudor, maybe you can harp in on that. All right, guys, over over engineered dive watch. Why? Why? Because, hey, we've got luxury and why not? Uh, you don't need loom in the uh, in the bezel, on the ceramic bezel. You don't need the slightly domed crystal. You don't need the snowflake. You don't need all that text there to tell you exactly what you got, but you got it anyway. Bracelet is one of the best features of this watch. Uh, you got uh, really solid links they're light as a feather. If you've ever felt this watch up close, it is light as a feather. Uh, push down here for the diving extension. There's a little bit of drop of water there. If you buy this watch, make sure to clean under there and dry it out after you've immersed it in salt water or else you'll have rust spots there. I have a little patina uh, on the steel, right over, whatever, whatever that is made out of. It's a little bit lesser quality. The Tudor logo there, isn't that pretty? Uh, the grommets here are pretty solid. Um, the only thing I worry about is if it's going to come out, uh, if I'm pulling on that. If not, it, it's fine. Let's go back to the bracelet. Adjustability is a big thing now. If you don't have a bracelet that's adjustable, you're really selling yourself short. I recommend it. It's got four positions. One, two, three, and four. Four is the flexible position. Uh, I use that whenever I'm wearing my three millimeter full wetsuit uh, on my sleeve. I put the roll, I put the, uh, the tutor over that and it sits there perfectly uh, solid as a rock, guys. Um, let's talk helium escape valve. Why do we need a helium escape valve? We don't, but we've got one. Isn't that sweet? Uh, also, the Crown has a beautiful Tudor logo. My, I get really lucky with mine. It's almost horizontal, slightly, you know. These, uh, I guess it's sort of luck of the draws to who gets uh, the Crown perfectly, perfectly upright. All right, um, why is there a helium escape valve? Let's think saturation diving real quick. If you want to learn a lot about it, there's a great documentary on YouTube called Saturation Diving. Uh, it follows uh, two groups of saturation divers. They actually uh, live in the, in, the, in the dive chambers on board a uh, drilling vessel out in the ocean. Um, and one of the guys has the Pelagos on his wrist. I believe it's the black version, however. Um, so helium, tiny, tiny element, pressurized helium is added to the gas mixture that you're breathing whenever you're living in that uh, dive chamber, and it finds its way into the watch, um, even though it is hermetically sealed from the outside, that helium atom just finds its way in. Um, as you're getting blown down, the pressure adds up. Uh, it's not a one-way, it's a one-way valve, only, out, only allows gas out. Um, then when you're blown up, meaning the pressure is released and you're coming up to the surface, um, the gas expands inside of the watch case, this little capsule of perfection and memories uh, that we, uh, John Mayer mentioned, this capsule of uh, just uh, engineering excellence. If you want to find a really interesting, uh, anyway, the gas expands and, and is released and no harm is done to your watch. Uh, if you want to Really coolest detail about that uh, documentary is they have uh, pressurized lifeboats, guys, for the for the dive teams. So if the if the ship sinks, they they all go through uh, pressurized cyst, uh, catacombs within the ship to the lifeboat, and it's pressurized. That's nine minutes of talking, guys. Hope you were able to follow. 
Uh, let me know in the comments section what you want to see me talk about next. If an issue comes up, I'll go ahead and uh, discuss that. Um, share your passion with me, guys, and uh, let's get uh, the like. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications, and I'll make some more content uh, on the beautiful pieces you see here in front of me. Um, got the IWC, the Bell & Ross, the Datejust 1990 E-Series. You got the GMT Master II. You got the 50th anniversary Sea Dweller. This is my very first dive watch, uh, Citizen Aqualand 200 meter with the depth gauge. Uh, I had to include the Timex Iron Man. I've been wearing those since I was about 12. And then you got the Tudor, more dressy, the uh, Romeo serial number. All right, guys, Watch World signing out. This is Harrison. Thank you very much for uh, stopping by. God bless.